Hey guys, Missy Kitten here. So today is more of a just talk about whatever is on my mind. What? With my little old boy. No? Okay. Normally he gives me kisses. Instead he's drooling everywhere. It's actually kind of gross. Why are you a gross old man? There we go. <laughs> anyway, so, like I said, today is just going to be a let's talk about any random thing that comes to mind. And one of them is weird angle here because I have to sit weirdly. I'm using two chairs currently because I think I kind of, like, I don't know, snapped a tendon in my knee because like one day I was just kind of sitting here and then I went and I moved and there was a very loud pop and ever since then it has been very very painful he'll probably be doing that a lot just a fair warning because that is that is what he does yeah ever since it popped it has been very painful so I'm just hoping that it's not anything too bad and I can just heal up on it by itself and not have to get any sort of real treatment or anything I've been trying to kind of lay low with activities only walking out to the mailbox when I absolutely have to because my boyfriend is sending letters from basic which he will be done with in eight days. So I'll get to talk to him like daily, which is going to be nice. But um, it's very painful and Sammy just left my seat. I just got tail whipped. It's always fun. So there's that. And we already talked about the nice little bottle charms that I made, so those ones are always fun. My blue is, actually, I touched it up the same day, I think, that I made the video that I had talked about it. And, like, I completely re it. I added more into it, and, you know, it didn't really darken that much. And then I have obviously washed it since, and it is back to the pretty aqua. I love it. And... I ran out of dye, so I cannot touch it up again. So, I think I mentioned this after the blue is gone. I will be going to this lovely shade of black. It is a really pretty looking black. I hope it turns out as it is on the box, because that's actually a really pretty black. And my mom's always asking, pretty much every time I do my hair, she's like, why don't you leave your hair you know, the way God intended, and I'm like, well, you know, if God had given me the ability to change my hair color at will, then there wouldn't be a problem. Not one bit. But here I am, having to bleach my hair and dye my hair all the time because I want to do different things. So basically, I guess if I could be anyone from Harry Potter, it would be Tonks, because Tonks can change her hair color anytime she wants. I know that was probably the randomest thing ever, but yeah, Nymphadora Tonks is the best. Because one minute she could have purple hair and the next she could be red, and it kind of looks like it's on fire in... Shit, what movie was that? Letter of the Phoenix? It has been too long since I watched Harry Potter, guys. But anyway, like I said, this video is just going to be random ass shit that pops into my head. I need a drink first, though. In other news, I am still trying to decide what to do for this week's Crime File Friday. 
Um, I do have a list. This one, my sticky note list. Um, one is really standing out to me because the case just seems so weird. And this is going to sound really, really morbid. But it's even weirder to me because I cannot find the post-mortem pictures from it. Which, like I said, it's going to sound really morbid. So that's what makes me even more curious about it. And if I do the case, then you will understand why I'm saying that the post-mortem photos are quite important to the case. Um, it seems like it would be a really short case to work on, though. And I, I don't really like doing the short cases because they're just, I don't know, they seem too easy. But, I mean, there's so many cases that I could work on. You know, there's, on my list alone, there's, um, I don't know how to say his name. His last name, at least. It is German. I'm sure a lot of you who are into the crime world know of him. He was the German cannibal, Armin Muse. Muse? I, like I said, I don't know how to say it. And I got... The Iceman Richard Kuklinski, I've got Chris Watts, which is a very recent case that honestly still to this day makes me cry. I just read up more stuff about it the other day and it still breaks my heart every single time. Um, we could talk about Waco, we could talk about Ruby Ridge, you know, there's there's so much we could talk about and there's also just the little things we could talk about, like the psychology behind it all, and that's what I love to do. And I know most of the time I feel like people come to the vlogs and probably don't expect me to talk about crime stuff, so that's why I kind of keep them separate, but this one's a mix of both, I guess. Because, like I said, I don't know what to talk about, so it's whatever pops into my mind. There's also something I've kind of wanted to do, but it would do, it would take forever, and I don't have the right editing software, and that would be a basically how-to for hair dyeing, and like I said, the problem is there's no, I don't have an editing software, so I wouldn't be able to cut down, you know, the whole process of waiting for the dye to sit in your hair and everything. It's especially important with the bleach for the how-tos, because, I mean, just doing dyes is fairly easy, but bleaching, there's a very important process that you can do, which my sister tells me that I have messed it up, which I did at first. The very first time I bleached my hair, I did horrible. I did not take any precautions, and my hair was completely fried. So I have learned from my mistakes, and I, I mean, my hair is still a bit, a little fried, but nowhere near how my hair was the very first few times I bleached it. My hair was like, which if you look at my older videos, like my very first ones, you can definitely tell. And looking back on those, it's like, wow, that's really, really bad. It's like, how didn't anybody like my hair at the time? Because, like, I remember people coming up to me like, your hair is, looks awesome. And it's like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> and that's why it's so important that you make sure you, you take proper steps to make sure you take care of your hair. Which my best friend has been talking about bleaching just the tips of her hair. And she has dark hair. Uh, it's pretty much black, if I remember correctly. We haven't seen each other in years. It sucks. Um, so I told her, I'm like, you need coconut oil. You slather that shit on. You should get, and I will recommend it right now. I think I've recommended it before. The Color Oops Conditioning Bleach. It is so nice. It is so nice on your hair compared to, like, any other box bleach. 
other box bleach are so harsh on your hair, but this conditioning bleach is so amazing. And you just gotta slather wherever you're dying in coconut oil. Don't rinse it out. Do not rinse it out. Put the bleach in. You know, do not overdo it. Do not, and I repeat, do not exceed the maximum amount of time that the box says to leave it in your hair. Please. I am begging you. I made that mistake before. Then, you know, to get the brassiness out, a perfect thing to use, I thought it was amazing, is the Not Your Mother's Blonde moment. And my sister is like, Brad Mondo would hate you. And I'm like, yeah, he might. I'm like, but it's worked for me. So if it works for me, that's all that matters. My hair looks good. She was saying the night we were video chatting that night. Because she was talking about doing hers. And she was like, just look at your hair. And I hadn't brushed it at all that day you know my hair was air dried so i get like hobbit hair when i don't brush my hair or straighten my hair so yeah my hair looked really bad that night so i feel like hobbit hair is an insult to hobbits because i think my hair is worse than hobbit hair if i don't brush it or straighten it like a rat's nest and that's insulting to rats poor rats but just gotta do what you gotta do if it works for you then that's important but like I said if you do bleach your hair please do not over overdo the time Please do not over bleach. I saw a video of this one girl. She bleached her hair like three days in a row because she kept having the brassiness and then it came out in chunks and oh. Uh... If it hurt me on the inside, like it really did. Another thing I wouldn't mind doing on this channel, I've mentioned before, is gaming. But again, now I don't actually have my brother's gaming computer because I was like, I'm getting Animal Crossing. So he could have that back because I'm going to be focusing on that. And then, again, the not having editing software, which would be another reason why I can't do the other thing I would like to do. And that would be showing you guys what I do for my makeup, which, let me tell you guys. My wings are not even. They're never even. I just roll with it. Because the way you guys see me is like this. The way the world sees me. Is like this. So with the glasses on, you can't tell if my wings are even or not. So I'm just like, good enough. I even use stamps, guys. My wings are stamped on. And I still can't get them even. That's sad. That's that's really sad, guys. I want to say it's because my tremors. Cause I, I tremor really bad. I wish I was faking this right now. But this, this is legit, obviously. My... Left hand is worse today than my right. <laughs> but, yeah. I cannot blame my tremors for that. I don't know what I can blame. I'm just very bad at what I do. But, it's whatever. I'm, it's, like, good enough. That's all that matters. I'm not like most people when it comes to makeup. I don't use, you know... I, I honestly don't know what half the things are called, like toners and highlighters and bronzers and I don't know what all. I just use my eyeliner, 
my eyeshadow occasionally, not as much anymore. I just use my liner, my foundation. That's about it, guys. So, I mean, half of the time it's me erasing my, it's me wiping away my wings and trying again. Yeah. That is, that is my life. My boyfriend would be like, why are you taking so long to get ready? You don't use much. And it would be like, my stamps. My wings. So I would, we were going up to a mall one day and he was like, hurry up. And I'm like, trying. I can only make my wings so even. <laughs> but I think I rambled on enough been 16 minutes of random ass rambles so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this talk as much as I did and I don't know where my cat went probably getting into stuff because that's what he does especially the garbage but thank you guys so much for sitting here and listening to me ramble about literally anything that popped into my head um remember to stay safe stay smart during this time and i will see you guys next time